and we're going to take a look at two more functions associated with an array that uh, can be very helpful and that is the implode and explode function their meetings sound way more dramatic than what they actually do <laughs> uh, and I remember when I was first learning I had a hard time wrapping my head around those terms because they, they just didn't make any sense in fact I avoided learning what they really were because they didn't seem like anything I'd want to use but they are actually really helpful so I'm gonna go ahead and clear out most of this alright so we'll first look at the explode function now what this lets you do is take a string and convert it into an array and one way off the top of my head that this could be helpful is on a lot of websites you'll see uh, um, tags being used. I mean even here on, on YouTube you have a list of tags that are associated with the video and rather than making a whole new table for tags and things like that in a database uh, it might just be easier to have a field called tags and you can put in a bunch of tags separated by commas which if you've ever uploaded a video on YouTube or done anything where it asks you for tags usually that's the way you do it. You write the tag name then comma space another tag etc so with that in the back of your head let's just use that as an example for what we're gonna do here we'll create a variable called tag list and in here we'll just put some tags and we'll just uh, we'll make some tags associated with say this particular video series so PHP HTML raise functions sorting craft. there you go so we have this list and when we're doing a list like this there's different ways that we can use the explode function or different ways that we can actually make a list so we're going to use this as an example and in this example we're using the comma as a delimiter and if you're not familiar with what that means basically we're using the comma to separate the values and we're going to need to tell PHP that that is the symbol we're using so I'll just put a comment in there to note that and we're going to go ahead and we're going to create our array and we're going to call it tags equals and we're going to use the explode function and we need two parameters here we're going to need the delimiter and the string that contains all the tags so first in quotes here we're going to say comma so that's our first parameter we need to put our second parameter in, which again is going to be the list, so comma tag list. So now what we've done is we've created an array that contains all these tags. And let's go ahead and take advantage of that pre tag that I showed you earlier in the print r function. So we'll create a pre tag here and print r and we'll go ahead and take a look at what happens with tags so we'll save this and take a look so there you go we've created an array called tags that contains all of our tags now one thing you'll note here is this space after each one of these not the first one but all the other ones following and that is because we have a space character in between each one of these so let's go ahead and get rid of that and again only after the comma we want to keep the tags that have multiple words having the space in between them so let's go ahead and save and take a look refresh there you go now let's go ahead and we'll use this same example only we'll do it with a different delimiter just to give you an idea on how you can use this so, PHP and 
we'll just go ahead and reuse these here. And uh, just so you're clear, what's going to happen is the variable tag list is going to be overwritten down here. So we'll still get our example here printed out because this is happening before we overwrite it. But we're just going to continue to overwrite these as the page goes down. So this time, instead of using the comma, let's go ahead and use the space character. And you're going to see something kind of quirky happen here. So let's go ahead and copy this part here. Paste that. Save, and we'll take a look. There. So we got kind of a wacky little setup here. That's because it's really only taking these spaces here, and it's cutting them up that way. So you can see that the space is probably not going to be a very good delimiter because if we do put spaces here instead of the commas, we're not going to be able to combine these words here as one keyword or one tag. See how it cut everything up and it added to the array. So now you may want to do that, but if you're not looking for that, this could be an issue. You can also use other characters as your delimiter. You really just need to make sure that the character you're using is going to be a character that you're most likely not going to use within one of these tags so it doesn't screw things up. So you could use something like a dash. Just replace this with the dash, save this, and we should get the same result as the first example. So that was probably pretty self-explanatory. So now let's take a look at what the implode function is. Now you might have guessed it already, but the implode function is pretty much the opposite of the explode function. So we've already got tags up here on line 26 as, a, as an array. So let's go ahead and use that to implode. And we'll make a variable called list equals implode. So the implode function is, is very similar to explode, where this time instead of the delimiter, we're going to use what PHP refers to as the glue. Um, although really, I would still call it a delimiter. But we need to decide what we want to put in between each one of these in our string. So let's go ahead and return it back to using the comma. So there, and we need to tell it what array we want to implode, and that is tags. And then we will simply echo list. Save that and take a look. There you go. There's our list. So these are two little functions to kind of keep in the back of your head and remember that they exist because you'll definitely find uses for them later on. And let's go ahead and save a copy of this.